All right guys, today we got a great one. We got a little cheat video on how to set up a scope using a tool that a lot of you have on how to get the time base right and the voltage right. Let's get into it. So here's what we've got. A lot of you have the Zeus or the Virus or some form of the snap-on scope, uh, you know, scanner and scope set up. And maybe you have another scope also, but you're just not used to using the scope, maybe in either one of them. But you just need help on setting up your time frames, you know, your time bases, and your voltage scales. So here is a good little cheat code to do this with. Inside the snap-on software is a tab that says guided component tests. So if we go in here, this is like, I believe, is like the old Vantage and Vantage Pro for those of you who've been doing it a while. You go into this thing. I'm just going to grab a car here real quick, right? So, all right, so here's an Acura 2014 Acura RLX 3.5 liter. Let's just, let's just go with that, all right? Now, let's say that you, so you're working on this car. You're, you've got to get into a crank sensor, all right? And uh, you don't know what this crank sensor is supposed to look like. You don't know what the voltages are supposed to be. You're not really comfortable with the scope. You don't know the time bases and stuff. No problem. Go ahead and click on it, okay? Go to component information, and then it's going to give you the pinout. It's going to so each one what it's you know what it does, and also it's going to give you the location. All right, that's helpful. Go over to signature test. This is the one that's really really good. Even if you like, let's say you you want to key on engine cranking because the car won't start or whatever. Okay, let's just go signature test to begin with. All right, so here's that same connector, right? So, except now, look what it's giving you. It's giving you a, this is what the pattern should look like, which is really, really helpful. Now, it doesn't do this on every single component. That's okay. If we go over here to view meter, so viewing the meter is viewing the scope. This is not going to open the scope software. This is going to open up a graphing multimeter, which is this. Okay, and that's, and that's perfectly fine. We're ready to go. If you were hooked to the car right now and you were, you were you know, cranking it or it was running, you would get the pattern that we just saw, okay? But right now, what it does tell you is it gives you a, some type of a scale, both time base and voltage, that you can start with. So this one gives us zero to what looks like 18 volts maybe. That would be a little high for me, but, but whatever. That's a good place to start. And if we go down here... I think that's 10 milliseconds. I really cannot see that. I do yes. not have my glasses and that is tiny. Okay, 10 milliseconds. So 10 milliseconds. So now we know that. So we've got those two. The problem with this is that if we want to change something, it's really tiny at the bottom first and to manipulate it around and play with the scope is difficult. So what we want to do is back out. So remember we have just 18 and 10 milliseconds. We can back all the way out. I think there's a way, maybe there's not a way of going straight to home. No. All right, that's okay. Let's go. Ah. All right, let's exit out. Let's go back. Go back. Oh, you know what? There may be a way. Here. There we go. Let's go to here. Let's go to scope, scope multimeter. Now we're in the scope. Okay? So you see where I got that? Right next to it. Scope multimeter. Go to lab scope. Go to four channel lab scope. Now we're set up here, okay? And we've got our four channels up and running. And then what we can do is come in, and I don't use this scope a ton. So we're on a two volt scale right now. So that means two volts all the way. So from the bottom to the top is two volts. Let's just, to make it easy on our eyes, because we only had the one on the other one, let's just go there. Let's go to, let's go to, to 20 volts. That gives us 20 volts all the way up. And you can see that we're at minus uh, looks like minus two, probably minus four. So we can, you know, we can, whoops, hit, hit okay there. We can come down. All right, now we're at zero. And then you can see we're at the 18 there. Is that, or 16, I'm sorry. We're at 16, so the 18 is going to be right here. Okay? And if we look at our time base, well, we're already at 10 milliseconds. But let's just say we weren't. Let's say this thing populated and it was sitting at 200 milliseconds. We can go in, click here, take it to 10 milliseconds. And now... This is set up just like that other screen would be, except now when you get a pattern on it, you can manipulate the time. 
you could go in and let's say you've got a pattern on it and and we'll do another video with this and we'll do it with a car and we'll 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 start moving around the the, the pattern and show you what the time bases do and what the voltage does but just as a this let's just consider this you know the first video of a couple okay what we can do now is we can play around with our time we can play around with our voltage and we can get a a pattern that will fill the screen that we can then go into and do some diagnostic work on all right let's say that you've got a different scope let's say you've got an, an ats scope or you've got a pico scope and you're not real comfortable on how to set those up the same principle applies we can, now with a little bit of a caveat let's say you go back in so let's go all the way back let's go back into our guided components let's go back to our crank sensor let's go back so we were here right so we know we go here and we know what we get. So we go to here, we get that, but we're like, hey, I just bought you know that fantastic ATS scope. I wanna start using it, but I don't even know how to set that up. Okay, first of all, if you're in measure and deep record, you don't have to worry about anything. You just plug it up, hit deep record. It's gonna do everything you need it to do. You don't have to set anything other than the time. You don't want the time to be crazy, crazy high. So you see how it's got 40 seconds of deep record time. That's the entire screen is 40 seconds you don't really want to go over that if you don't have to unless you're doing some slow signals you don't need to have that much but you know you can even go down on that you could go 20 20 seconds so if you notice over here we got 80 milliseconds that turns this into 40 if we go to 40 it turns this into 20. okay but let's let's go to apples to apples we're going to go over here to this screen all right so this screen we can set up now and we can set our our time basis. So this this scope, I'm sorry, has been running. We've been doing all kind of diagnostic stuff on this scope today. Let me go ahead and restart it so you guys can get look at it in a better way. All right, let's see here. All right, here we go. It's in demo mode. That's okay. Can you tell them why you why you never full screen it? Uh, I don't full screen it because sometimes it'll mess up the line the way this lines up. Yeah. I've got this one in demo mode. Let me take it out of demo mode because I don't want to. Well, okay, well, hang on. Let's do that. I don't know if it'll let me do it on here or not, if it'll let me play with this or not. I don't know if it will or not. Let's see. Yes, it will. So here we go. So if, we're, if we've got this and we want to play with our... So this is demo mode. So these signals are not coming from anything. Uh, this is just the, the, the scope software generating them but we can see that we can play with that voltage scale and we can see that we can make something change here. Okay. And we can come over here and we can play with our time. We can also see that it's creating a change in it, right? Let's go. To right. So there's some way to practice with messing with signals, but sorry, I got sidetracked going back to my point. We can go in, let's go ahead and turn off demo mode. All right, we're gonna come back over. We're gonna to go to the stack scope. All right, so what did we see on the other screen? We saw uh, basically zero to 18 volts, right? So we can come over here and we can start this off at zero and we can take this up. I don't think we're gonna get it to 18, but we can definitely get it to 20. Now that is set up zero to 20, okay? Now we wanna set the time base up here. So this is the, the sweep time of this. So we can just get that in close. And there's eight milliseconds, right? So this is gonna get us close to what we were over here on the, on the Snap-on you know, uh, software. Now we've got this scope set up. And what we're looking for here is just for you guys that are new with the scopes, just to be able to generate a signal that makes sense. Because if you've got the voltage way off, let's say you've got the voltage way low, well, your, your pattern's gonna be way off the screen and it may just look like a, literally a block. If you've got the time set wrong, it may look like a block or it may just look like lines just popping up every once in a while. And that's where a lot of people get frustrated with the scope. It's like, I can't get a pattern to come up. I don't know if it's good or it's bad. Well, number one, you need to do this on good cars. You need to play with a scope on good cars. You have to do that. You have to get used to what good looks like. But the other side of it is when you're doing it on a bad car, you need to know I've got the scope set up right to show me a signal. And this is a really, I did this. Back in the days when this was a Vantage, 
you know, and it was its own. I think I have one still. It was its own. I, I know I have one in St. Mary's. Uh, it was its own little unit. I would take that and I'd pull up what it was and then I'd go over to a scope that I'd have and I would, I would get the, the settings right on the scope so that I know, okay, I should have a signal that looks at least somewhat like the picture. And the other thing is it shows you a picture on a lot of this stuff. So if we go back and we go, let's say we go to cam sensor, go to signature, there's the cam sensor signal. Looks close, but not quite the same, right? If we go to meter, now look, it's set up a little bit different, it looks like, with the voltage scale. And I can't see with that. 50. That's 50 milliseconds now. So it's different. And why is that? Okay, well, the, we put more time on the, on the time base because that's a slower pattern. So that crank sensor is sitting there doing this, whereas that cam sensor is doing this, right? So we can put more time on it and still see a clear picture. If we did that with the crank sensor, we'd see a crunched up picture. Now, I'm not really, really good with the, with the zooming in and everything on the, on the snap-on. I think it works backwards from what I'm used to, but you can definitely zoom in and stuff. I don't know that you can do that on this screen, but you can 100% do it, because I don't know that you can do it inside this part of the software, but you can definitely do it inside of this software, right? So, um, being used by another scope viewer. Okay, so it's being used in the, in this one, so we have to uh, back out of that, and then we can go into this one. So there you go, That's there's one thing right there because we got the little thing hooked up. Now, for those of you that have this, that, you know, it's part of the, um, unit, you know, on the Virus and the, I think the Virus and the Zeus or whatever before this version, it's built onto the, uh, onto the, onto the tool. It's exactly the same thing. So to me, this is just a good way to, to, again, like I said, cheat and know I got the right settings so I can get a pattern here. I should get something that looks something like I'm looking at, and then I can tweak the voltage. I can tweak the time just a tiny little bit to, to get that pattern looking good. Or at least I'll know if I don't get a pattern, Hey, I should get something, right? I'm, I'm at least got it set up to where I should get something. So I hope that helps, guys. I hope that's kind of a, you know, a beginner. I know that's really, really beginner kind of stuff. But hey, that's that's the stuff that I had to do in the beginning. So uh, if you did like it, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment down below, and let us know. Would you like to see us hook this up to a vehicle, get a pattern on this one? I can get both these scopes going at exactly the same time on exactly the same sensor with exactly the same pattern and kind of play with the time and show you what the differences would be and show you, you know, how to manipulate the pattern around so that you can kind of look at it and get a better diagnostic, you know, path based on what you see. If you want to see that, leave a comment down below and let us know that. We'd be happy to do that. So anyway, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I know I just said it, but make sure you hit it. We're getting close to that 100K. Massive giveaway. ATS gave us an e-scan. We're throwing some other stuff in there with it. Going to be great. So hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one.